is one really cool thing. <laughs> Uh, I have two really cool things. I have a meandering ruler. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? This is very cool. This is a Marsha Baraldi quilter. It's 27392-3. And I have a foot control by Michael Davidson. This is very cool. It's got this little notch here, and you can, um, on uh, curves or something, if you want help, you just put this on it, and it, you can guide it. <laughs> it's so cool. <gasps> anyway, I can't wait to use this. I'm not using it yet, but when I have applique or something, I can use this. It's very cool. Anyway, anywho, what I'm doing now is this. And I'm going to bring my bobbin thread up. Okay, this is where I want to start approximately. So, just move it. Voila. Voila. There it is. There is my bobbin thread. Yeah. See, there it is. Okay. I've got my bobbin thread now, and my thread is under the foot. It's beautiful. Okay, now what I want to do, because this has an entrance, see? I don't know if you can see that. There. It has an entrance. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to enter here, and this ruler, okay, I don't have a ruler base on here yet. So I have to be very careful, okay? I cannot let this pop up. And if you don't have a ruler base, that's what you have to, this space is my, is my space right here. I have to keep it on the base of my machine. I suggest getting a ruler base. I have a ruler base, I'm just, you know what? I'm too lazy to put it on, <laughs> that's what it is. I have it over there and it's just, I'm just too lazy right now. I just want to show you this. This is so cool. But the right way to do it is to have a ruler base. And for uh, the cutie frame, and I have a PQ, well, anybody who has a domestic machine can get this at Stow Steady. It's the 9x9 nine nine ruler base and it's according to your machine. You tell them your machine and you're on a cutie frame and uh, they, they make it for you. And it's wonderful. It, it extends it by, by at least a few inches. So you have a real stable place to hold your, your, uh, your template. Okay? So I'm, I'm aware of it, and I'm being really careful right now. Okay? So I've got my subdominant hand on here, and I, I'm going to do the best I can. Okay. going to lock the stitch down. Okay? Now I'm going to turn it into ramming speed. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think it's cool. I'm going to stop. Now the way I'm doing this, I just want to say, is, I have my needle down, is I have my fingers, okay, I'm just going to have to back this up so you can see. Okay, can you see me right here? I have my thumb on the pulse button there. This is a pulse button, this is on and off. Now, if I wanted it to just go and, you know, and have no control, I would hit the on and off. But I want complete control, so I keep my thumb with my dominant hand, I'm left-handed, on the pulse button. So I can, on and off, it, it goes, it toggles. So watch this. I don't know. I'm blocking it, aren't I? Okay. Well, let's see. Okay. I'll try it with my other hand so you can see what I'm doing. Normally, I would have it the other way around, but so you can see. I've got my thumb on the toggle switch. I'm just following. See how I'm following? 
Now this is what it looks like. Let me try to get up higher so you can see. Let's see huh? if I can get up any higher. I think that's it. Okay. This is as high as it gets. Okay. We're going to do the best we can. Okay. Now, I'm at the edge here. So, am I going to go over? No. I'm going to rotate this so that I'm going back. Then I'm going to rotate to go down. You see how this works? This is so cool. <laughs> you can use this to go as far as you can go. Now that's as far as I can go. So am I going to stop? No. I'm going to rotate to continue. You see? switch hands because the position of this. Okay. Now I'm going to take this elsewhere. Look at that. I went all the way across and it's a real meandering stitch. Now I can finish it off. It actually trains you how to do meandering stitch really well. travel. Now, here's where I can, I can use this to travel. Okay, that's as far as I can go, this far. So, I have done my section. Now, I'm going to um, move it up because I've done as much as I can do here. So I'm going to put my needle down, needles down. And the reason why I have my needle down is probably obvious. So I can start where I stopped. Makes sense, right? So. Since I did that, it was really super easy to do that too, I think. My meandering was not that good on some of these sections because I did it freehand. It was way too tight and way too uh, predictable. So this has helped me learn how to do meandering really well. It's a great tool. It's Marsha Bar Baraldi quilter. You can find it online. I think I got it on Amazon. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, um, that's what I'm doing and, um, I'll do some more and I'll probably film some more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most of it was getting the foot on, <laughs> but from now on, it'll be better. Have a great time. Thanks for stopping by the closet quilter.